کینیڈین ہائی کمیشنر ویدی گلیمور نے سما کی نمائدے خصوصی ٹکا خان سانی کو خصوصی انٹرویو دیا ہے کیا کہنا تھا ان کا آپ کو دکھا دیتے ہیں ناظرین آج میں آپ کی ملاقات ایک ایسی ڈپلومیٹ خاتون سے کروا رہا ہوں ایک ایسی سفارتکار سے کروا رہا ہوں جو پاکستان میں چار سال گزار کے اپنے ٹینیور پورا کر کے جا رہی ہیں کینیڈین ہائی کمیشنر وینڈی گلمور سے آج میں پاکستان کے بارے میں پاکستانی کلچر کے بارے میں پاکستان اور کینیڈا کے ریلیشنشپ کے بارے میں بات کروں گا تینک یو ویری مچ ہائی کمیشنر What in your view is your most important uh, achievement or contribution here in Pakistan? It's like an exam question. <laughs> I have enjoyed my time in Pakistan tremendously. It's been fascinating to get to see the country, to get to know people, and to, uh, to have a chance to learn about the, the culture, the diversity. It really is extraordinary. I think my greatest achievement is... Um, is trying just to get out and to understand the Pakistan of today. Pakistan is not always the stereotype that somehow it's portrayed to be, that there is a diversity and uh, a culture here that, is, uh, that has so much to offer the rest of the world. Visited you know, Buddhist rec- relics in mm. the north, in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. Um, I've gone to Hindu shrines and Um, Sikh uh, religious sites in Punjab, and, uh, and I don't think that that's always well communicated to the rest of the world. I have had uh, just a wonderful time exploring Islamabad, but also the Margala Hills. I think this is a capital city to have access to a wilderness preserve, a nature area, recreational opportunities is uh, amongst the best in the world. But to really portray an image of Canada and Pakistan engagement that goes far beyond security specific activities. When people ask me, you know, what is Canada's national dish? Our national dish is as much tikka and uh, palak paneer as it is hamburgers or anything else. It's, uh, it's wonderful. I've often asked which is my favorite posting and it's a little bit like choosing a favorite child, but I can say that Pakistan has been so incredibly special. Somebody like me who is a trekker and a, a hiker Um, the opportunities to get up into the mountains are extraordinary, you know, just just wonderful. So I was lucky enough to to be able to do the trek to K2 base camp, um, which is pretty pretty impressive for a Canadian. Um, and uh, and really just the opportunity to get to know the cultures of Pakistan. I, I didn't realize before I came really how diverse Pakistan is. The one thing I am very impressed with is both in Corona and now with the floods, Pakistan's ability to bring together the various arms of government, the military, a disaster response, and to work together across provincial lines, across jurisdictional lines, is what is going to make a difference in heartbreaking to see the devastation that the floods have caused. Both riverine flooding in the south as well as floods coming out of the mountains of Balochistan where there should be no water. I visited Sakor and Dadu with the recent visit of Canada's Minister of International Development and we saw water as far as the eye can see where there should be no water. So Canada has always been at the forefront of humanitarian response when emergencies like this happen. We have contributed $33 million dollars Canadian to the flood effort in the emergency response phase. Winter is going to be here and they will need warm shelter. We want qualified Pakistan students to study in Canada. It is uh, it's one of my objectives and that of my, my mission here at the High Commission is to, to encourage qualified students to apply. And uh, there are various ways to do that. The best is to start, the Canadian government has a website It's called Edu Canada, E-D-U Canada, all one word. What I would tell Canadians is that look beyond the headlines. Mm-hmm. Get to know the country, get to know the people. And it it's, will be rewarding if you do. Challenge, the interview we have shown you. And it's a very good thing about Pakistan. It's a very positive thing about Pakistan.